day three of the 2014 Under-18s World Championships Division 2A. You join us today for Game 7 of the tournament between Croatia and the Netherlands. Picked up behind the net and Croatia will have another 45 seconds to come forward. Netherlands quite aggressive here on the penalty kill. They'll come forward now, Croatia with Boric. It's rung around the boards and Netherlands will pick it up far side. Still 25 seconds on the five on four. It's strong work behind the net. Croatia may get a chance. Boric is left-hand side waiting. And the puck goes towards the net. It's loose in front of the net and on the rebound. It is Stanjic who scores. The netminder couldn't hold and he spilled it. And Croatia score on the power play, 1-0. A bit of a careless play from the goaltender there. I think at this level you need to... The goalie sees that shot. We've got a good angle from where we're sitting in the stands here. And the goalie, full side of the play, you can see the puck. And again, you know, not a hard shot, but he spills the rebound and the player follows it up. Netherlands were not happy there. The fans to our right hand side were furious. A blind backhand into the center area of the offensive zone was poor by the Netherlands. So Croatia break. But Mouchman helps come out the zone. And then it's good work from Buren. Blisco. Oh, I love the hands from him, but the puck comes away from him. He falls over, but on his backhand. Oh, my word, it goes in. And it is number 17, Bajanovic. Oh, it just went free. And I think the netminder might want that one back too. It's 2-0 Croatia. Really bad defensive play by the Dutch there. We had a pinch on the blue line here. Bad mistake, bad mistake by the defenseman. What's happened, he's chipped that puck by. Croatia picks the player up as they attack the offensive zone. He kind of stumbles, and then the other player picks the puck and puts it in. But again, these are the kind of things that we're seeing an awful lot throughout this tournament. Starting to turn up a little bit of pressure. Helped by the power play, which has still got a few seconds left to run. De Winkle. Van der Vos, and oh, he looked at the net and let the puck slip off his stick. De Winkle with the shot, tipped. Oh, and the top of the post. What an opportunity for the Dutch. Nyland at the side of the goal. I think he swung over the puck. But they can come again this time, right hand side now. Milicic working the boards. Stays strong. He's got support. Not on the moment though. Movement finally starts again. Milicic has it. Milicic at the top of the right circle. He should go for goal. Instead, he goes inside. Good pass in the end. It's loose in front of the net. The rebound. Well, the rebound is going to get put into the back of the net. It looked like it was pushed into the net. And the referee was right there and washes it out. Kegel around to the far side. Johnny doesn't get it out. Dutch have pinched this, Hermans plays it out, brilliant, Van Ness, Rusic didn't know where the putt was, he knows where it is now, 2-1. Been saying it since the beginning of the game, he's got to be the player that really steps up now for the Dutch, really nice play down low, player takes it behind the net, draws the goalie to his off post and plays it back the other way, you know, Great goal from a player there, but I think in that situation, the Dutch now really have to push on from this situation. Kigal, stretch pass, clever play. Sniffed out there by Netherlands. They'll come forward, Raquel. Now Evers, shot pad save. Good save from Ruzik. Netherlands have it once more. Is this the moment? Oh, it takes a deflection off a D-man skate. And Ruzic goes down, makes a save. There's a bit of argy bargy in front, but it stays a one-goal game. It's the Netherlands who instead come out with possession. It's won back by Croatia. And the referee is given a slashing call here. And yeah, I think it's given a slashing player on a Croatian, hasn't he? No, on the play there, I think the referee just called oh. a single penalty on the Dutch. On the Dutch, okay. On the Dutch defender there. Picked up by Milicic. And it will be 
finally cleared by Netherlands. Netminder looks to come to the bench. They need to get possession. Netminder's gone. Empty net situation. And Netherlands, of course, only playing five on five. And Kigal shoots and scores. This game is over. The Netherlands pay for their indiscipline. And with 35.2 to go, it is a 3-1 lead to Croatia. Netmine has gone again, they're gambling. Birkel into the offensive zone, empty net once more. Just five on five though, outskaters. The uh, pass is charged down, it's going to go into the back of the net. What a crazy goal there, but it doesn't matter how they go in. Pavic Sebek, I think, will be the man credited with the goal. The diving sock just hit him and just trickled agonisingly for Netherlands into the back of the net. Game, set and match, 4-1 Croatia. Great play by the Croatian uh, forward there. It's one of those skills that is kind of fallen out of our game, the art of blocking a shot. Puck comes back to the Dutch defenseman. Not only did he put his body in front of it, he's a big kid to begin with, hit him in the shin pad and again, it's gone all the way down the ice and scored into the open net. The chances of seeing that type of goal are slim and none, and we've been fortunate to see one here. Kovacevic then, unassisted, confirmed as the goal scorer. Glock will tick down, and Netherlands will be the losers here, and Croatia the winner. The school children count the clock down. It finishes. Croatia four, Netherlands one. There's a bit of argy bargy. The referee is going to give a penalty for roughing on the whistle to the Croatian number two. Don't think he'll care. And the referee tells him to go and join his teammates. But 4 1 and Croatia, that was a very, very well drilled performance. Croatia winning 4 1 against Netherlands.